Hi, my name is Cinzia Casiraghi and I'm scientific organizer of the Graphene Week 2015, which will be held at the University of Manchester. Will there be some special theme next uh, year? Well, we are a lot of people involved in Graphene. We, we have more or less 100 to 100 people working on Graphene. And uh, so there will be me, uh, who will be the scientific organizers, but then there will be obviously also other people helping in the organization. And obviously we have also people uh, outside Manchester, in other countries, in Europe, because we want to cover obviously uh, different areas, different teams, uh, and uh, so also different countries in Europe we want to cover as much as possible. Is there something special happening uh, in UK next year in the Graphene? Yes, so the, the reason why we want to host the Graphene Week 2015 is because next year around March, April, we are expected to open the National Graphene Institute, so we thought it was really nice to give the opportunity to the people attending to the conference to be the first ones actually to, to come and see the National Graphene Institute. What can the visitors uh, expect to meet next year? Well, obviously all the uh, scientists involved in research, but also uh, we have space for uh, um, people uh, from industry, obviously, because we are now very interested in developing um, graphene-based products, so we want to actually improve and maximize the interaction with the industry and companies. You're also a very active researcher yourself. Uh, what do you do, briefly? Okay, so I'm an expert on Roman spectroscopy, which is an optical characterization technique, which is at the moment one of the most powerful techniques for characterization of graphene. Uh, for example, is able to identify graphene, so you know if you have really a single layer or you have two layers or more layers. And one of my um, last uh, um, research activity was on uh, super lattices that you have when you overlap a graphene with another crystal with a similar uh, uh, crystal structure and these uh, give rise to some changes in the uh, properties of graphene that you can track by Raman spectroscopy. And what do you think uh, will happen in like yeah, five to six years within your area of graphene? Oh, <laughs> that's a very interesting question. So I'm also uh, involved in not only Raman spectroscopy but actually in uh, uh, producing inks of, uh, made of two-dimensional crystals, so hopefully we will use these inks to make flexible uh, displays. So, so you can imagine to have a, uh, you know, a mobile phone that you can roll and put in your, uh, you know, pocket and, and things like that.